Hey, mason jars and fire bars. Can you beatbox for me? It's time for the word, or haven't you heard? The truth that I'm spitting, yeah, the truth that we live in, it's absurd. It's not bad. Hey everybody, my name is John and welcome to ADITW, A Day in the Word, the internet's favorite Bible study. Let's get this party started, shall we? Please read Ecclesiastes 9 verses 1 through 12. So in this chapter, we see the writer, once again, returning to something that he introduced earlier on in the book. Just retrodden old territory, opening up old wounds. Back in chapter 3, we discussed this idea of a common destiny for all. That whether you're good or bad, righteous or unrighteous, even human or animal, the same fate awaits all who are under the sun. And in order to put this chapter in its proper context, let's really take a moment and define this phrase that has been repeated so often in this book. Under the sun. The writer's under the sun theme speaks specifically to a life lived without an eternal perspective. A physical life on this earth where there is no possibility of eternity and there is also no accountability for the actions that we take while we're here. And to be clear, this is not actually how things are, but this is how things appear to Solomon while he's writing this. And honestly, it's how things appear to us oftentimes, isn't it? People who are way smarter than me would refer to this as a nihilistic view of the world. And this refers to someone who truly believes that death is just an ending. And because of that, nothing we do here on earth really matters at all because as Solomon says, the same fate awaits everyone. Now, this sounds super harsh and very depressing, but if you think about it, without Jesus, Nihilism is really our only option. With a nihilistic view of the world, there really is no such thing as justice. Because you can be good or bad, righteous or wicked. None of it really matters in the end because it is all left to time and chance. Your goodness on this earth achieves nothing. And there will be no real punishment for your wickedness either. No justice. With this view of the world, there is also no hope. Because there is nothing for us to look forward to. Death is just a void of empty nothingness. And not only that, but even if you did go somewhere after you die other than in the ground, which you don't, no one will remember you anyway. And like we said before, this view of life will lead us to believe that there really is no meaning. Life is meaningless. Because again, if the same fate awaits us all, and if there truly is nothing after we die, then none of this really matters. Now, don't you feel encouraged? No justice, no hope, no meaning. Mm, that's a good word. We have to remember though, that this under the sun premise refers to a life lived without an eternal perspective. But as we've talked about already several times in this study, when Jesus came to this earth, he unlocked eternity. No longer do we only consider the things that happen under the sun, where a nihilistic view of the world would leave us completely without justice, hope, and meaning. The death, resurrection, and promise of eternal life that we have in Jesus, it gives us justice, it gives us hope, and it gives us ultimate meaning. And while yes, Solomon was writing this without an eternal perspective, because of Jesus, we now can read it with an eternal perspective. And not only can we read this text with that perspective, but we can live our lives with the confidence that God is bringing justice, hope, meaning, and so much more for all of eternity. Hey everybody, thank you once again for watching this episode of ADITW. If you haven't noticed yet, we're actually getting pretty close to the end of our study of Ecclesiastes. I know, major sad face. However, 
Turn that frown upside down, baby, because we have a new book coming up, that means. And I would love to hear from you all what book you would like for us to study next here on this program. We've gotten through many of them in the last few years, so I'm wondering what book would you like us to study next? Please comment down below with whatever book that might be. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do that. You can also follow me on Instagram, at John Jorgensen. That's all I have for you this week. Please tune in next week for another episode of ADITW. I love you all. Keep being awesome.